Hello folks, Scott Grove here with you with another little quick licks going on bass guitar. Today using the Ibanez Iceman. This here is a different one than the other day. This here is the ICB 300 EX in white with the black binding and dark inlays for some reason. At least we have bright lights in here so we can actually see the uh, pearloid inlays in these things. Yes, they do offer these in five string versions overseas, but not in the USA. So if you ever wondered about that, um, yeah, they make them. Okay, so um, the thing today that we're going to get into is just basic funk bass. Again, for the beginners, um, why don't I do so many pro lessons? Basically because pros don't need lessons. And uh, one person, well, lots of people keep asking me because the same camera view is generally used in most of my lessons are like you don't see the other three walls full of guitars you just see these you know four or five guitars sitting here is what most of you see people are like Scott how can you have the same guitar but just in you know different colors back here what the heck's the use in that well I'll just put it this way kiddies <laughs> easiest way I can put it number one other than because I can and why not is um, why wouldn't you just stick with the same girl? You know, it's like you keep going through life and you just keep getting another girl. They're all equipped with the same parts. They just have different faces. Okay? Little different personalities. Okay, so same reason. Little different faces, little different personalities. So I'll leave it at that. Okay? Okay, so let's get down to the reason we're here. To do some funk bass. Okay? And this is slapping and popping stuff, so this is introductory stuff for pretty much the pure beginner. And I will admit where I got this, I play this on a lot of my um, videos where I do demos on basses. And I actually stole this lick and then sped it up to about three times as fast from a Britney Spears song. Yes, I did. You're like, oh no, you didn't. Oh yes, I did. <laughs> So that's actually where I got this from. Uh, one more camera adjustment and I think we got our nailed. There we go. Uh, got her nailed. Speaking of Brittany. <laughs> okay, so the main lick I'm going to show you today, which is not so important as the right hand, will be this. just a junk you could throw in if you know it which you can already if you have my bass guitar lessons that's right you click the link below it will take you below to um, all my free lessons you can grab hours and hours and hours of free bass guitar lessons just click the link below it'll take you to all kinds of them and if you want to purchase any you can feel free to browse the site left hand side will take you to my bass guitar section and there's all kinds of stuff there's a whole whole lesson on funk bass and it'll get you some cool stuff. You can get, God, like 10 hours of bass guitar lessons on there for $14.95 right to your flipping door. Okay, so check them out. Uh, very cool stuff. Okay, the basic principle behind today's thing is strictly teaching you how to do this coming up. Using your thumb. Okay, we're only going to use two strings today. Your A string. Okay, just so you know. I'm on the 3rd fret of the A string, that's a C, reaching up grabbing the 5th fret of the G string, which is also a C. So you have a C, and then popping up on a C, so octaves of each other. Everything today will be strictly done that way because it's easy. Everything will be done in octaves today, so the right hand will be doing strictly that, just moving positions. I'll show you that, but like I said, down here is where the real lesson is at today. Very simple lesson. Again, that's why we do this lesson for beginners. Okay, with that in place, your C, 3rd fret on your A string, and 5th fret 
on your G string, we have your thumb hitting with its side. Okay, it just strikes. And I'm killing it over here. Okay, so you just hit it, let it bounce off. Don't let it stay there. You can if you want because it's going to be killed anyway. Okay, so the only thing you don't want to get is um, something that just rattles forever. Okay, you don't want to hit it wrong. Then you need to get that. You, you don't want to slap your pickups with your strings. You get that noise. If you push down too hard by laying your hand there, find some place where your hand isn't going to make any noise and put it in between the pickups. Whatever you have, but don't push your strings into your magnets on your pickups or your pole pieces. That's annoying. You're trying to play and you're like, what's that? That's this. Sounds like an old telegraph. Um, I guess if you're only a geezer like me, do you even know what a telegraph is? Probably don't even have it in history books anymore. <laughs> okay, so slam that into the A string. Okay, with your middle finger. Okay. Or whatever finger you are comfortable with. This is not set in stone. Only part set in stone is the thumb. For this particular lick, I just like to use my middle finger. But you are actually pulling the string away from the neck of the guitar, pulling it straight up in the air. Not up, not up this way, but straight out, away from your body, away from the entire bass. And you're pulling it out just until it feels like it's about ready to break, and then you let off of it. And then I actually take my hand, as you can see, and I stop it here, okay? But I don't push down on the strings to make that noise again, okay? So simply practice that. You can sit there and go without even stopping it. thing to work on is what I just showed you or what you heard okay that is simply going from I'm going to name the strings and the fret numbers so a fret 3 G fret 5 everything's going to be skipping a fret and going to the a and G strings I'm moving my fingers out of the way don't you dare do that keep them where they are but just so you can see so now we're going to open, meaning nothing on the A string. And then second fret on your G string. Now first fret on your A, third on your G. And just move it on up, both of them. Second and fourth. Back to third and fifth. a little exercise to throw in now and then when you're sitting there working on the couch sitting there going okay and then trying to get the thing stopped okay I sit there uh, doing uh, who dat is what I think. Who that? Knocking on the door. Who that? 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 Knocking at my flipping door. <laughs> okay, so that is the technique. Basic slap. So that is another variation, just so many variations, 
It's just a matter of again. Okay, so you can throw in these things that are called ghost notes later, and um, they're on the video if you want to grab it on the funk video. Um, anyway, and they'll sure surely end up on a uh, another freebie lesson. And don't call me Shirley. That's my mother's name. Yes, it's her real name. Okay. So anyway, the little lick I wanted to show you. Little lick. There you go. It's always nice to get a little lick now and then. Um, is this. Yes, the Britney Spears lick. That I want you to practice to. Or just at least take into consideration. Okay. It's simply. Okay, that's sliding your A string first fret. From the first fret up to the third. And then hitting the octave. Okay. So slap it with your thumb. First fret. Slide to your third. It's one motion. You only hit it one time with your thumb. Okay, got it. So once you get to the third fret, then you do your pop and you kill it. Four. means do that if it helps you. Uh, I got my leg going. Just like one, two, three, four. Because those thump, 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 clicky, clicky, clicky things that you sound like uh, Ethiopians going when they talk. That's actually part of bass playing too. Funk playing. So you get that. Okay, so you'll get that stuff going on. Um, instead of notes way on down the road. Okay, so I got a few minutes. I got to show you the whole uh, little riff that we're going to do. Okay, again. Okay, so all of these are going to be slid into. Okay, these are going to be at three and five, then up to six, these are fret numbers, six and eight, five and seven. Okay, on our three and five, we're gonna slide into it. Then we do it thump with our thumb that does nothing but make a thump. And then we slide from the three up to the uh, six on the A string, okay. When we go to five and seven, we do not do a slide. So we have slide from one to three, pop on five, thump, slide after you hit it from three to six on your A string, pop on the eight. Now we just hit with your thumb on five on the A, pop on the seven, and do the exact same thing as you did for the first one to end the first part of this. Okay, so you have slowly. Okay, and I just noticed I did one extra note. Right before the very ending, I did an open A. Okay. Which means hit the A string. Open, nothing on it. Then do the first fret, just like we did at the beginning. So slowly, the whole thing, intact, since I just learned something new. Okay, the second time around, everything else is the same. Second time around, the uh, last little part, comes quicker. Check it out. I'll do it in regular time so you can see the actual phrasing. Okay. Okay. So you can change it up there. The only other thing is 
I want to drive home is that you can actually take this whole puppy and add extra notes. You're going to do a double time there. Okay, so right there on that five, I'm kind of doing a lot of, you know, doing a bum bum bum, thumb twice, bum bum bum. Sounds really cool. Okay, so that is the basic thing, but it is all. Anytime you want to put that in, percussive measurements. It's all good, it's just keeping rhythm and funk playing has tons of that in it, okay? So you hear that there's a lot of that. Just clicky, 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 clicky thing. Okay, one more thing. Is an octave higher than this? Okay, which will take you all the way up past the double dots where your bass starts over again. You'll have double dots on the side of it. You might have it on the front where this one just has the block. But past the 12th fret, your bass starts over. So you go back up three more frets. So now you're at 15 and 17 on the same two strings. So same as this, both of them C notes. You can just jump way up there and get those if you have the chance. Okay, so that's all. Okay, that's pretty much it. Introduction into the funk thing using a Britney Spears bastardized bass line. But the main thing was... Getting you to get that hand rocking. It just looks like you're going boom, 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 boom. Nobody sees that little guy coming back pulling it away if you have dead strings meaning really old strings it's going to sound horrible nice new strings like these will sound great they have that funk sound to them okay I can add some more of that funk in there nice bright strings on for um, funk bass. So I hope you got a little bit out of more about the right hand than anything. The rest was just octaves which is very basic for now and again this is just a very basic beginner lesson to get you into this. There are tons of these like this all over YouTube. Grab them. Um, check them out. And like I said, click on the link directly below this video. You can go right to my free bass lessons page and free instrument lesson. Every instrument you want to learn is on that same page. So everything there is free. Feel, uh, don't feel obligated to buy anything. 
even though it takes you to my website that whole page is totally free and it does not cost you a thing to surf around and look either but as long as you can grab free stuff why not and this is totally free and again just get that very basic even if you just sat around doing that that's more than you knew before you got into this possibly Okay, you'll even be using those type of things later. You'll be using what's called raking with the back of your fingernails. All kinds of fun stuff to come. So once again, pretty FaceTime. <laughs> Scott Grove. Um, play it low, play it mean, play it well. Um, again, we're here with the Ibanez ICB300EX active bass guitar. So your 9 volt goes right here, you got tones of tone controls, uh, you got lows, mids, highs, volumes, um, pans between back and forth between the, it's a great bass and it hardly costs anything. They're almost done making these now, so they're selling out what they have left. So grab them while you can at like 300 bucks I think now they're down to, um, while they're phasing these out once again, they're getting rid of the Iceman here in the USA, they're not getting rid of them overseas, they're just getting rid of them here. Okay, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed your quick licks and stick around for some more. There are going to be plenty to come because I'm bored off my booty. Okay, so catch you later. Oh, don't forget, bass players do it deeper. Confucius say. <laughs> Take care, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>